Hello everyone, welcome to Love Glue Creations. This is Felicia. Happy Friday. Um, I had a great workout this morning, so my blood is pumping and I'm ready to go and I'm happy it's the weekend, right around the corner. So, hope y'all all have a fabulous weekend. And also, with Mother's Day just right around the corner, I wanted to take a moment and send a, send a special shout out to all the amazing moms in our community. Whether you're a mom yourself, or you have a mom you want to celebrate, this day is for us, you guys. Thank you for all the love and support and hard work that you put into your families. Um, you know what? We are the backbone of our families and our communities and our strength and what we do does not go unnoticed. That's why we have a special day. Um, and to those of you who have mothers, don't forget to show them some extra, extra love and appreciation on that special day, whether it's a phone call, a heartfelt message, or spending time together. Let's make sure that our moms feel cherished, you guys. All right, so thank you all for being a part of this community for Love Blue Creations, and happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. I am sending lots and lots of love to you for Mother's Day. Thank you so much. All right, so. Let's go ahead and talk about a few things before we get started. I just wanted to mention that I do have some items for sale, some different items for sale in my shop. I'm excited to introduce these items. So we have this cute sign and I have a wreath that I made out of this sign. It's in my shop as well. So if you wanna take a look at it and figure out, you know, what can you do with this? You can put it on a grapevine, you can put it on um, a, uh, the pine base, or you can put it on a, um, a, work, a work wreath with the with the um, the tinsels and so forth. So you can use this in so many ways or you can just use it as is and hang it just like this. And you can put like some flowers on the side, some arrangements. But anyway, this sign is available and I do have ribbon. So I have this ribbon and I love how it matches the sign. So you can use this and this in an arrangement. I also, oops, I also have ribbon, this ribbon for sale as well. And you can combine these three. I got pink, blue, and the the black and white and I do have some florals available in my shop as well feel free to check it out and um, pink and blue florals and you can make a beautiful wreath out of this with these ribbons with the florals and with the sun all right so feel free to check out my shop if you're interested just go ahead and purchase some and then I have some some really pretty ribbon this um, spring ribbon is available as well as this ribbon. And this is the fair silk ribbon, so y'all know this is the good stuff. And um, it's really pretty. I love how it has these um, daisies around it, the rainbow daisies and so forth. So it's really, really pretty. So feel free to check that out as well. All right, so that being said, next we're gonna show you the ingredients for our wreath today. All right, so here we go. This is really, really unique. It's a different kind of wreath base, check it out. So this is, it looks like a grapevine wreath, but it's actually made out of, it's a plastic kind of material, but I like how real it looks. Doesn't it look real? It looks like it is actually a grapevine. And I guess if you were to really have one like this, these twigs would, would pop off real quickly and rot and <laughs> probably be destroyed after sitting on the door for so long out there and the temperature um, with, with it being twiggy like this. But I love how rustic this looks. I'm excited to do something with this wreath. Um, and I thought, you remember when I made the um, beaded hoop wreath and I used the styrofoam to go on the, on the areas like this? So, um, because it was, it's a skinny um, base. So we're going to apply um, styrofoam. And I'll show you how I cut this um, when we get ready to start making it. But anyway, so I love this. This came from Hobby Lobby. Really, really neat. Really, really interesting. And one of the things too I try to do is make different things for you all so you can be inspired when you see stuff like this you go what do i do with this right and i when i saw it, i was like i know exactly what to do with this so this will be my first design with this type of wreath base so let's make it work all right next we're going to use some beautiful florals and greenery and we got these from michael's how pretty are these beautiful look at these roses don't they look real that looks so real like they should smell <laughs> i'm like oh my god these are beautiful I would love to get just a bunch of faux roses for Mother's Day instead of the real ones because they'll last forever. All right, so here we go. We got this beautiful deep green eucalyptus. How cool, look how big this, full this bunch is. I think that's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna add just that right touch of greenery to this rustic wreath. And then these are a light green ficus. They'll help bring out some of the 
to lighten it up a little bit, you know, with the deep green. I think that'll be really, really pretty. Put those two together. And then I might use this. I got this from Hobby Lobby, but I just love how green it is. And I like how full the branches are and how many picks it has on it. So definitely something I want to consider. And of course, our roses. I still can't get over how beautiful they look. All right. That being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's wreath. All right, so what I did was I bought a, this is square, a rectangular piece of styrofoam from Michaels, and I cut it about, it's about what, four, an inch, maybe two inches from the actual, what is wrong with me? I can't say my shapes today. <laughs> from the actual piece of styrofoam. So let me show you how easy it is to cut. So I literally just took a knife, right? and measured what I wanted and you just cut straight through it. And it comes apart just like that. So I want to show y'all how simple that was. So when you see stuff like this, feel free to grab it. It doesn't take a lot of work to make it work for you, to make it, to cut it or anything. So there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply our, which way do I want it? I think I want it on this side. Yeah, this side's better. Yeah, okay, so we're going to apply our styrofoam to the base. All right, so we'll start down here. I'm just gonna do one for you all and then I'll do the other one off camera so I don't wanna take up all your time. But this is how I did the, um, the beaded hoop wreath as well. So we're gonna add a piece on this side. Okay, let's not let this be an epic fail, please. <laughs> Work with me. Any pieces of wow, okay. This is really not trying to. There we go. There we go. Alright. So what I'm probably going to do. Pull it tight, tight enough. I need a pair of pliers to pull it tight. Don't want to use these because it'll cut it. Let me get some pliers. All right, so here we go. Get some pliers and just pull it, pull it as tight as you can get it with the pliers. Okay. Here we go. All right, now it's on there. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to glue the styrofoam to the actual base. So let's do that. Let's cut these pieces. stability. All right, like I said, this is my first time making this type of wreath, so it's definitely going to be, oops, all right, let's get it glued on really good so there's no moving around. Be generous. So let's let that sit for a bit, and I'm gonna do the other side. All right, so while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting our greenery and start prepping for our placement. All right, so 
we're going to start with one well, two bushes for now we're going to use one bush for each side and the great thing about the wreath is that we only need to cover where the where the styrofoam is the rest of this is going to stay open and just be what it is and we'll have the flowers and the greenery right there so that way we can still show off the twigs within this base and just let it flow and let the beauty of it speak for itself all right so let's go ahead and prep get ready I'm going to start with these first. I like these. We're just going to fill it up with that and then um, actually and also for the ficus, uh, the, the, uh, I'm drawing a blank. For this one, <laughs> sorry guys, um, we are going to cut it down a little bit so the stems won't be so long as they're sticking out. So we're going to just cut them down a little bit. Eucalyptus, there you go. Woo, my old age, y'all, it's catching up. Eucalyptus, why can't I remember that? Now, I made wreaths with real eucalyptus and um, they just they smell so good, right? And you take a, a bunch of uh, eucalyptus and the way you do it is you take the, the fresh eucalyptus, get yourself a grapevine wreath base and just lay it around and follow the flow of the, of the wreath and use wire and it goes all the way around and it smells so good and I had I've had one in my dining room area and my my um, office area on my doors and it just when the people walk through the house it just they smell that and it's it's pretty and they have different colors from the red to the green um, and you can m use multiple colors on a wreath like that and how cool is that um, but yeah I like I like eucalyptus I like the way it smells all right, so let's go ahead and let's see how we're gonna place our, I think this is good to go. Nice and dry, good. So let's talk about the placement of our greenery. All right, so always remember what we do to one side, we're gonna do to the other. So I think we should start, we should cut, cut it down a little bit. So we're going to, um, let's just see if we can cut this in half. Actually, we can push it up just a little bit. It's a push up. Bring it down. All right, so let's cut this down. So we'll start by adding here, here, here. So uh, one, two, three, and then one, two, three on this side. So let's go ahead. Sorry, Duke, Duke. Y'all, I have. I don't know if I've told y'all. I have. I do have dogs. I have two dogs. One is. They're both rescues, and one is a um, a collie mix. And the other one is like a, um, um, what are you trying to mix? <laughs> I can't remember. She's a mix. They're both mixes. All right. So let's go ahead and do the rest. So we're going to cut it down a little bit, push it up a little bit. Just kind of get it gathered. She's a boxer mix. She's got like a boxer look to her. So, but we both, they're both rescues and, um, Love them to death. We've always been dog people. I don't know if I've mentioned that on my channel before, but um, I grew up with a dog. We had dogs when the girls were little. So, all right, see how that's kind of flowing like that? So one here, one here, we're gonna put one on this side as well. Let's push it up, cut it down. Try to make them all the same size. Make sure that we fan it out pretty good, just like that. Bring it down just a little bit more. I kind of probably use my glue pot, right? Right, Felicia? Yes, make it so much easier for myself. All right. So we're going to do the same on this side, and then we're going to do the same on this side. So we're going to do one, two, three. And then the top is going to be the, the um, the, the roses, all right? So I'm trying to leave that open because they're big enough to just both sit right there. So we're just going to fill the outer part 
of our um, styrofoam with our greenery. So we're going to start with the eucalyptus and then we'll add in these fillers. All right, so let's go ahead and do this side. Oops, oh man, see, that's all right. We are going to glue this back on. And I'll do that later because that's going to take a little bit of time. Actually, here we go. Okay, let's put some glue on that. Where there's a wreath, there's a way. Don't ever give up on a mistake. Mistakes happen. I've made some wreaths, y'all, where I was like, I didn't like it. I re redid it. Actually, I don't know, know if y'all noticed, but that butterfly wreath that I made um, with the greenery, with the um, green moss base, I redid it. I, I added some more stuff, some more greenery to it. I also changed the ribbon. I did not like the ribbon that I used. Once I looked at it, I was like, I don't like this look. It's like the orange was too orangey. So I, I took off the ribbon and I put in burlap. Much better. Turned out way beautiful. And I'm not sure if y'all noticed when I posted it, how it looked, but that it looked different. <laughs> So I did tell um, one of my subscribers, her name is Patricia, hi Patricia, um, told her that I had changed it up and she uh, she commented on it when she saw it and it looked way better. I, I agree with you. I saw it myself and I was like, nope, nope, nope. So always remember, you know, when you do something, if you don't like it, it's not the end all, the end all. You can always, always go back and add to it. What is going on with this eucalyptus? <laughs> Crazy. All right, here we go. Again, it's not the end all, the end all. And uh, nobody's perfect and things happen when you're making wreaths. So, all right, going to glue that on as well. Get that stem back in there. It's like threading a needle. We can cut that down a little bit, but I need that to dry. So let's try another one where that one's drying. All right, so now I know I need to be careful as I'm pushing them up because there is a break in the center. So very, very delicate. There we go. All right, let's cut it down some more. How's it going? All right, so. Get that glued on. Probably should cut that down just a little bit more. I'm going to cut this one down. It's still too long. There we go. So it's coming at an angle, just like that. All right. So I'm going to put one here. I'm going to pick up this one that I just glued. And we'll be right back. All right, so I've taken the liberty to go ahead and do the other side. So what I did was I put, and it was just enough in that one stem, you guys, so I have no more eucalyptus left. Um, so it was enough to make three, add three pieces of eucalyptus to each side. So I did one in the center at the top of each side and then two on each side so it fans out that way and it fans out this way on each side so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding our this greenery which is our um, light green ficus so we're going to cut it down as well and we're just going to start filling in some of the gaps so we want a little shorter just a filler so wherever um, we need to add so I'm not going to glue it in yet because I want to make sure this is where I want it so we'll just start filling in, push it up, cut it down, and what you do to the top, you want to do to the bottom, so I'm going to add two 
here and as you can see we got the ficus sleeves in the way so we need to lift those up so I got one on this side I'm gonna put one on this side as well and just start filling it in so push it up cut it down one on this side You always want to do the one side you do to the other. So there we go. We got it in there. And we're going to add some on the outside as well. Go down just a little bit more. So we're gonna let me push it up a little bit more. We're gonna add two on each outer side also. Push it up, cut it down. Just like that. See? All right. Push it up, cut it down. Glued in the glue. All right, where's my piece? Cut. Okay. Oh, here it is. Cut that down just a little bit more. Try to make them even so that they make sense as they're sticking out of each side. Move some of out the way so you can see how it's forming. See how it's forming? All right. So I think I'm going to save what um, what green is showing. I want to save it for this greenery as well. Oops. Oops. All right. So we're going to add this because I think that's going to be pretty. But I want to go ahead and do the other side. Same thing I did. So I did two. Two on each side and two in the center. We're gonna add the roses and then we're gonna add the other greenery. All right, so let me do this side. All right, so I wanted to show you all where we are so far. So we added the eucalyptus. We did three on each side, one in the center, two on the side, one in the center, two on the side. We did the same on each side. So what you do to one side, you wanna to do to the other. Then we added our light green. Um, ficus and I added two in the center two on the sides and two on each two on each side all right so you can see how it's starting to fill in it's looking really really pretty so what I want to do now is add our roses and we're just gonna add them right to the top all right so let's see how far I want to cut them so I need them to be down pretty far just a waste of a stem look at that how pretty that is but you know what? I think I'm gonna use these leaves and what we're going to do is we're just going to apply the roses right on the top i need to cut it down some more it's not it's not long it's not it's too long you see that okay so just get it down just a little bit more we're just going to stick it right in the center not in the center i'm sorry we're going to stick it so it, let me get the other one let me cut the other one so we can definitely See how we want to place them before we place them. So I want to make sure the stems are cut around the same size. All right, so we're going to stick them on just like that. Okay, so it's they're not in the center, but we want to make sure they have room so they're not jumbly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rose here, the stem here, and here because they're big enough when they sit side by side, it's just going to look really pretty. So we've tried to put them both in the center. I mean, we could do that too, but I like them sticking up just like that. All right, so let's just place them first before we glue them. Just like that. Oh my goodness, it looks so pretty. 
pretty pretty all right i love it already see how it's looking all right it's coming along and if if i feel like these are going to be too long you know what we can cut them it's no big deal what i need to do though because i haven't glued these in i'm going to glue these in on this side i already did the other side i always put it i try to place it before i put it in sometimes because you never know if you want to pull it out and reposition it so don't be afraid you just got to remember which ones you got to glue <laughs> when you have too many stems sometimes when i finish making a wreath i pull them just to see which ones ours are still not glued in so give it a little tug if it comes out easily it's definitely one that you got to glue in all right i think i got them all good to go all right so let's go ahead and put some glue on these babies so got them where i want them just to get them sealed in there not going anywhere it's nice and sealed and yeah i could have glued first And we're gonna do the same for the other side. And I'm taking off these leaves because I like them. Keep your leaves, people. I actually could probably put some of it out there. I think I will, oh my God. Okay. Shame of, you know what? I think I might save the stem. You never know. <sighs> yes, wreath makers, we save everything. All right. So same length Do we wanna cut it. About right there. Two. All right, take our leaves. Okay, so let's cut this down just a little bit more and position it. So we got, we want to do the same colors on each side. Yeah, let's do that. So the light and the pink, so they're both going to be on the same side. How pretty that is. The, oh, so pretty. Very, very pretty. All right, so let me get these glued in. We'll be right back. All right, so what I do want to do, I decided that I'm not going to use these. All right, so we'll save these for another wreath. But what I want to do is because these, the, the, um, the leaves from the roses are so pretty, I thought it would be really pretty just to incorporate them in and just kind of have one right there, one on this side. Let's see, just gonna place them just to see. Oh my gosh, yay, that's so pretty. And one on this side. And one on this side. It's kind of sticking out from each side. That would be gorgeous. Okay. So, but these are flimsy. It's very flimsy um, piece of stem. So what we're gonna to have to do is add a floral stem and it comes with wire already on it. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. So I'm just gonna put it on there. This is gonna help make our flimsy stem a harder stem. And we just wrap the wire around it just like so. Get it on there good. I'm probably going to use some floral tape just to help seal it a little bit. Okay, so a little bit of floral tape. Cool thing about floral tape, it's kind of sticky on its own. The more you um, pull it around, play with it, and stretch it to the tear and we'll just get it wrapped around there really good just to help seal the connection of the two just like that I'll leave a piece of the stem so you can see it I think that's good enough my fingers are already sticky see ah, I made a stem all right, so we'll stick it in there right where I wanted it. 
so it can stand out with the rows, just like that. There you go, ta-da! So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. We'll be right back. All right, y'all remember when I said I wasn't gonna use this greenery? I think I want to use it because I put one in and I loved how it just gave it that whimsical kind of look, just hanging down like that. I love that. So, you see that, how pretty that looks? So I'm gonna cut a, a few pieces and let see how it looks. It's not the end all to end all if we don't use it. All right, so we do for one side, we're gonna do for the other. Right, right. Just like that. Just get that down, just like that. I like it. I think I'm just gonna do um, one on each side. Because if I do it this way, it'll hang. Let's see. Because it's it's not it's not a stiff piece, so but we can work with it. So one on one side, one on the other. Put that thing down. You know what, I think, I think I do. Well, you know what, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it more on this side. See, that's why I don't glue it in yet because I'm going to change my mind. There we go. There we go. Nice, so pretty. And I think I will put two at the top. Let's try to find some smaller pieces. Well, it depends on how whoever purchases this it depends on how hang it, which how it's gonna hang down right right so just like that to get a longer piece I love this granny I'm gonna start keeping this in my inventory because this I've used it before I love just how plush lush green it is one side as we did on the other just like that oh yeah 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 yep 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 I'm glad I changed my mind this needed this definitely needed this piece let's see let's go with this one and again this came from Hobby Lobby piece and we are done. I'm going to show y'all the big reveal once I get these glued in. This turned out beautiful. This would have been very pretty as a double door wreath. One on each door. Oh my god. I don't have double doors. I always wanted double doors. If y'all have double, whoever has double doors, lucky you. Because you, Your doors can be so adorned with wreaths. All right. Let's check out the big reveal. A few minutes to spread these out a little bit. I just love how it looks so beautiful. I love the roses. That's what did it for me. Alrighty, who's ready for the big reveal? Yay! It turned out really pretty. Really, before I show, um, show the final wreath, I want to tell you all that I am having a sale, huge sale in my shop. Um, all spring and summer is 50% off. 50% 50 off right now, so feel free to um, go online, see if there's anything you like. It's um, on sale plus shipping, it's include, uh, plus shipping as well. And um, I'm really excited to um, have the spring summer sale for Mother's Day, so it'll be a great gift for a mom or a, that mom in your life or if, um, 
for yourself. Why not treat yourself? And also my fall and my Halloween and my Christmas is all 40% off. So feel free to go in and see if there's anything that you like that I had made from last year that's still available. Check it out, it's there. And um, I'm trying to clean my inventory, clean my inventory, get ready for the new season. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Final reveal. So pretty. And you know what I like about this is that it, um, because it's full wood, you can move around the branches, they're not gonna break. It's kind of rubbery. And you can position them where you want them so that they can really stand out and add to the beauty of the tree. You can hang it either way. Look how cool that is. So pretty, oh my gosh. This would be a great double doorway if I made two. Anyway, this is pretty. This is beautiful, this could be for a wedding. Oh my gosh, nice. Okay, all right, that's enough. Y'all have a great weekend and um, enjoy your Mother's Day weekend. I may or may not have a tutorial next week, I'm not sure, but um, if I do, I'll let you know, you'll see it. All right, have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.